traveling with my family so we're at the airport now catching flights guys yay so we are now checking in at the kiosk for our flight to broom and now we are just waiting for our boarding passes to get printed and we will be heading to the gate shortly So guys, Perth to Broome is only 2 hours and 15 minutes flight time. So for those of you who wanted to have a relaxing holiday that is close by, then this is a perfect destination for you. And also, you don't have to quarantine once you return Perth because Broome is part of Western Australia. So guys, there's actually 5 of us traveling to Broome. So there's my niece, my brother and my parents with me as well. So guys, we have safely arrived in Broome. Western Australia and now we are just looking for our rental car somewhere over there Hi. so guys this is a rental car so we hired this one for three days and it cost us about $180 and that is driving today so that's good so yeah so we are now heading to our hotel it's called the Oaks Hotel Sanctuary in Cable Beach So Gianna, I think this one is mom and dad's room and then we will be staying on the second room which is where? Here Okay, so we will be sleeping on this room here So Gianna, do you like this room? That's good so we decided to have some lunch by the beach so we went to the Sanders which is close by to our hotel this is at the Cable Beach and then so we ordered some fish and chips for lunch and I think my brother ordered some beef burger and my niece ordered a spaghetti bolognese yeah. so here is the beautiful view of the Cable Beach guys when I actually booked this trip I did not really check the um, the weather forecast so when we got here it's kind of a bit stormy and also there apparently there's a cyclone coming in so I was a bit worried for my family because um, and also for the kids because we wanted to enjoy it but then unfortunately um, I should have checked the weather forecast before going in but we still managed to enjoy our stay here though the weather is not that nice My family and I have decided to just stroll around Broome since the weather is not that nice and it, it was too windy for us to stay at the beach. So maybe after this we would head back to the hotel and just have a relaxing time over there. And also I'm just so grateful that my family is very flexible and understanding when it comes to this because it was really my fault as I did not check the weather forecast over here and I just realized that it's a wet season this time of the year so yeah.
That's the reception. So this is the place where we're staying. So this one is a two bedroom and it costs us about $250 a night. So just to give you a rough idea on how much would it cost if you would be interested in going here. So it has a two bedroom with a shared bathroom and also it has an open space with a living room and a dining area and a kitchen as well. And also this place has a um, pool viewing area as well and it has a very spacious bedroom which I think you would love when you stay here That's about it guys. So we are now heading to the airport. Oh actually, we are just gonna drop by to McDonald's and just have our quick lunch over there while we wait for our departure. And as you can see, it's still raining up here and also um, so grateful that we are now heading home just before the cyclone lands here in Broome. So hopefully our flight will be okay, but I'm pretty sure it will be. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. And also, if you wanted to be updated with any uploads that I will be doing, please also click the bell button right above. Thanks guys and have a nice day. Bye! And if we need to evacuate, you must leave all baggage on board and it will slow evacuation and damage the escape line. We're nearly ready for takeoff, so please review the safety instruction card in your seat pocket, which shows the brake position and other important stuff.